Hello everybody. I'm going to show you how to uh, modify a uh, Cherokee CBS 500 base station. It's a CB radio, 40 channel, 4 watt, AM only. Okay, there's a frequency mod and there's also a couple of adjustments. First we'll take a little tour. Okay, there's the final. It's a it's a 2078 like the rest of them, right there. And uh, right here, that's a crystal. It's a 10.24 with the tremor. These two pots right here, SQ, that's the squelch voltage, and RXM. RXM is the meter. That's your S meter adjustment. You need a calibrated RF source to adjust that one. Uh, this one up in the corner, TXM, this is a TX meter that adjusts the, uh, the front S meter. Uh, it'll display your transmit power and that dials it in to be accurate. Alright, these two pots down here, right there, one's mod and one's reg. The mods are modulation, your VR and uh, you dial that one for a nice waveform on the scope and the reg pot is a regulator uh, I put a, a voltmeter just right on the wiper and dialed it in for 13.8 so alright that's the RF board here is the logic board or the front panel board I removed it that's it right there um, there's the back side of the front panel. Alright, that crystal right there, I believe, is a uh, 4.5 meg crystal right there with the trimmer. And you dial that in for 4.5. Um, in this bundle of wires going to the mo motherboard is uh, the uh, local oscillator, not the local oscillator, but the VFO. And if you put a frequency counter on that, you'll you'll see it, and you can dial that trimmer in to get right on the evens. All right, mine is the later model. They put epoxy over the spot where you can modify for the frequency. Oh no! Well, there's a workaround. See, I removed the board from the front panel, and it looks like uh, those solder joints right there. That's the backside of that three pin header that you jumper. So, um, right there, that one. So, I'm thinking about cutting through the epoxy there and, uh, and jumper into the right one and then opening the frequencies up. And I'll post instructions on how to do that. Uh, to get this front panel off, it was bare. First, you pull all the knobs off volume, squelch, RF gain, and channel. Pull those off. You're going to pop the side screws out. There's two on this side and two on that side. And then several screws on the bottom and top to remove the covers, of course. You're going to want to cut the zip ties bundle in the wires. And then uh, before you pull anything out, there's a speaker mount. There's one screw way back in there that goes through the chassis into the front panel to hold the speaker in. I, I broke it. I didn't know it was there, and I pulled, and it broke. That's for the, the speaker mounts in there. You can see the, uh, the other one right there, that speaker. That other half of the speaker mount. So I'm going to have to hot glue that. So remember, there's that screw back there. Don't miss that one. So uh, that that's... Oh, another thing. Just cut the meter wires. It, it's just a positive and negative, and that makes things a little bit easier. So you can cut those and get this, get this out of the way. Just like that. Now we have access to the front panel. Um, that's pretty much it. Like I said, those those three right there, I believe, are the back side of the pin header on the old board, and uh, covered it in epoxy. But I think I can cut through the epoxy and unjumper it, and then put a jumper here in the front for the open freaks frequencies. Um, I adjusted the mod for well, about like so, about three o'clock from the front. V reg is 13.8. And TXM, I adjusted it 
uh, on the bird, basically the meter has a scale and I've, I put it right on 4 watts and uh, it's right on squelch. I didn't know it was good. One, one volt, uh, if you put a voltmeter right on the wiper there, you can see one volt um, of squelch and that seemed to work pretty good. RX meter, I haven't adjusted it. I don't have a calibrated signal source. Here's the back side of the front panel. Um, anyway, let's see. The audio amp is a, uh, I forgot what, what chip it is. It's a TDA2003. And the VREG is a B135. Let me check that. Let me check that. It's a, uh, it's a B1367, a B1367. So, mine, the lamps are burnt out. I'm going to replace those with LEDs, hopefully. And, uh, oh, I forgot. On the front panel, you're going to have to remove the, uh, not only the knobs, but the, uh, but the, uh, the screws that hold the, the knobs to the front panel. This is the hardware that was left. This is a little button pack. And uh, we'll see how it goes. It's a loose speaker. Let's see the back side. Just a whole lot of nothing. But uh, we want to put MOSFETs in here and open it up and, and have some fun. So, all right, cool deal.